morning, everyone. My name is Laura Bockwell, and I am in the graduating class of 2023 at Coralie Secondary. I plan to pursue a Bachelor's of Science in Biology next year at UNBC. So today, I wanted to talk about a few things that have shaped my high school career. They have offered me motivation to get through my academics, they have improved my mental and physical health, and they have given me a more successful and generally more fun life. So the first sector I wanted to talk about is fine arts. So I began piano when I was four years old and I wrote my first piece when I was seven. And I have played in six or seven Cornell Festival Performing Arts. I have done own compositions, I played duets, trios, I've accompanied soloists, I've accompanied choirs. I have done quick study where they give you the piece the day before and you the next day. I have done sight reading where you don't get any notice. Um, I have played in BC Provincials once in Victoria and I have qualified one more time. And I played at weddings and now I teach. So I have several students right now and I've had I think 10 in the past because I began in seventh grade. Um, I love connecting with them through music. I love watching these really little kids perform for the first time. I love talking to their parents about my career, and it is a great way to make money. I can pick my own hours, and I can do it for the rest of my life if I want to. I will perform probably my favorite song. I've never performed it before, and I do plan to play at a wedding next summer. So it is called Morning Has Broken, and this arrangement is by Ray Wayne.
So on the athletic side, I've been playing volleyball since fifth grade. I've been playing school and club since eighth. I've been the setter every year. Um, we have played in numerous high school events. We played in zones every year. Played in numerous volleyball BC sanctioned club events, provincials every year, and then we played in the nationals in Edmonton last year. So through volleyball, I've met some of my best friends. I've met wonderful coaches, and I'm lucky enough to see them every single day through the sport. Um, we play most of the season, sorry, most of the school year, and then we also play beach in the summer. Um, we play 12 hours a week, and that includes adult league volleyball, time in the gym, and regular practice times. And that does not include tournaments, which are anywhere from every weekend to once a month. My best friend and I have a beach tournament coming up in several weeks, and I plan to play at UNBC next year as a part of the intramural league. So my main sport is biathlon. And for those of you who don't know, it is a combination of target shooting, and we shoot 22s, and skate skiing, which is a form of cross-country skiing. Um, I usually race loops of either one and a half to two kilometers, and I come in and I shoot five targets. For every target I miss, I ski one 150-meter penalty loop. So an average race for me is anywhere from seven and a half to 14 kilometers. I have been to don't even know how many BC Cups. It's something like five a season for nine seasons. Um, I've been to two Alberta California X Cups. I've been to Canadian Nationals twice. I just got back from Valcartier, Quebec. I have been to the North American IBU World Trials. Um, as part of Team BC, we train all summer. So it was a lot of roller skiing and running. Um, I've been to summer roller ski nationals. I've done two half marathons. Um, I mostly train for two weeks at a time in Whistler, Vernon, and Squamish with my team. At these training camps, besides the hiking and skiing and shooting and running, we spend a lot of time talking about diet and mental health, um, nutrition, we've done cooking challenges. I have learned a lot of leadership skills because I'm now one of the older members on the team. Um, through this team, I've met some of my favorite people in the entire world. I've had wonderful coaches, and I know that even if I do quit this sport, those people will still be in my life. So in the winter season, because of volleyball, I spend a lot of time training early in the morning and late at night. I do mostly long distance and hill sprints work. Um, because I don't really have a coach or a team in Quinell, it's, it's been hard. Um, I've had a lot of motivation and perseverance skills, and it's made me look forward to competing even more. So next season, I plan to continue training. I will still be on Team BC, so I hope to race outside of my academics as part of the Caledonian Nordic Ski Club. So in addition to piano and painting and volleyball and biathlon, I have competed on the high school badminton team. We just won a silver medal at Zones. Um, I'm part of Corlew's first ever Ultimate Frisbee team, which is why we are here for district awards and I have competed in high school track, um, I've done long distance and throwing mostly, high school cross country. Um, I've also won several academic awards. I won the top grade 11 student award last year, and the chemistry award, and the art award. A quick tour on the booth I've created, which will also be available for viewing in the gym. As I forgot to mention previously, I did attend the BC Winter Games in Fort St. John in 2020 and came away with a bronze medal, as well as volunteered at the 2023 BC Games in Vernon this year.
as well, I completed my sixth grade Royal Conservatory of Music practical and theory exam with first class honors with distinction.